Green Valley. Welcome to this week's episode of GVTV. Uh, Kirsten, 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 <laughs> why are you dancing? Well, Morgan, I unfortunately had to miss Thon because of my college tryouts, and I'm so bummed. I didn't get to see anything that happened there, and I was so excited to participate. Now, I have no way of seeing how much fun Thon was. Well, actually, it's your lucky day. Team 2 was kind enough to recap Thon for all of you who couldn't make it out. And trust me, you miss out. Let's take a look. I'm here with Becca Boren, the president of NHS. Becca, can you just give us the laydown of what happened this week, how much money we made and everything like that? Um, at THON this year, we believe we had about 250 students show up, not including NHS members. There were six flag football teams and 12 dodgeball teams, and we believe that we raised close to $5,000 for Children's Mercy Miracle Network. That is amazing. Thank you, Becca, for everything. So now we're going to go talk to our dodgeball and football champs, see what they have to say. I'm here with the returning state champs, Balzania, and back that pass up. Kellen, you're team captain of the football team. How do you feel that you did this weekend? I feel like we did great, uh, Ryan. Uh, we had great fundamentals. Uh, we executed on all sides of the ball. Uh, and yeah, just, just, just ask me if I was worried at all. Were you worried, Kellen? No. Wow, that's some confidence right there. Now I'm talking to Seth, the team captain of the dodgeball team. Seth. You guys practice hard, you stick to your meal plans, you, you just, you worked your butts off. How do you feel you did this weekend? Well, you're right, we did. Um, we had a strategy going into it. Uh, good thing we executed well. We had subs, our bench went deep, which was good. I mean, our arms were never getting sore, never getting tired. We always had fresh legs coming in off the bench. And you know, just too much for the other teams. You know, again, right. asked me if I was worried. I'm, well, I'm guessing you are. I'm not. I okay, wasn't, right. nice. So uh, this is the coach, Blake Lacey. Blake, how, what do you what do you got to say to these guys? Do you you want to tell them anything? Well, I'm just I'm really proud of them. You know, uh, they they really went out there, played hard. Uh, I have really had to use some time management towards the end of the games to uh, make sure that everybody was making sure they were doing what they were supposed to. And uh, I'm just really proud of these guys. Well, these are your Thon champs. Well, there you have it. That was Thon. I'm JJ Clappin. I'm back to you in the studio. Wow. Not only did all the money we raised go to a good cause, but that looked like it was tons of fun. I told you. The football and dodgeball games were really awesome, too. Yeah, everyone was probably so tired, though. Well, only the ones who didn't train for it were struggling to keep up. Um, then they should probably start going to weights this summer. <laughs> That's a really good idea. Good thing we have a team covering weights and why you should be there. Let's see what they have to say. Hey guys, Kimmy Porter here, and I know you all are super excited about summer coming up, but if you are a student athlete or you're just looking to stay in shape, make sure you attend our Grain Valley High School weights program over the summer. I'm here with head volleyball coach, Coach Peterson. So could you tell us how summer weights works? It starts Tuesday after Memorial Day, uh, runs all the way to the end of July. We have three different sessions, 6 to 8 a.m. this summer is going to be primarily high school males. 8 to 9.30 will be the high school females, and then 9.30 to 11 will be the middle school. Okay, and what do you guys do at Waits? Well, we have a couple different things. We split in groups, and while half of them go inside and lift, the other half stay outside and do some conditioning. And why do you feel that the weights program is so important from a coach perspective? I think as an athlete, you need to be conditioned. Um, it helps prevent injuries and helps your overall athletic ability. All right, and anything else you'd like to say? Um, we also, again this summer, for our second summer, are doing a summer weights t-shirt, so anyone that's interested can pick up a form outside my office on the girls' side. All right, thank you very much. I'm here with senior Timmy Hinton, who has decided to continue his cross-country career at Avila University. So, Timmy, how has the cross-country program benefited you? Well, we first start in the summer for summer training. Um, usually starts in June and goes all the way through um, August to when school starts. And then... Um, we start our cross country season and then after cross country season's done, we go through winter training. So we um, stay in shape for track and then after track, it starts all over again. All right, and when does this cross country program begin? It'll start June 1st for um, anybody, it's through seventh through uh, juniors or upcoming seniors. Obviously going away seniors aren't gonna be there, but um, it should be a good year. I'm excited for the uh, upcoming team, I think. We had a good program going last year, and I think it's going to stay with it again this year. All right, thank you. I'm here with sophomore Ashley Armstrong, who participates in volleyball. So, Ashley, what would you say the most important thing 
about summer weights is? Um, it helps build strength and endurance, and it's a great way to like get your team together and <laughs> I don't know, make friends. <laughs> and what do you want for the future of your weights program? Um, I hope there's a lot of people that come out this season because we're having t-shirts, so that's a new thing. Everybody gets t-shirts, so I hope a lot of people turn out this summer. All right, thank you. I'm here with soon-to-be seniors Kellen Holland and Nate Vanderpool. So what do you guys expect out of your teammates this summer? Uh, I expect them to be at everything, you know, so we can hold each other accountable and have a successful year this year. All right, and what about you, Nate? I just want everyone to come out and help us out. And mainly just, uh, I just want us to have a great senior year and just everyone help us out with that. All right, that sounds cool. Thank you, guys. Being a four-year veteran, I know this program has benefited me in a positive way. So if you're a student athlete or just want to get in shape, make sure you come out and experience our Grain Valley program. It's really successful. There is no better place than Lunar Bowl for your kid's birthday party. Lunar Bowl has youth birthday party options for as low as $99.95 for a party of six, including two hours of bowling, an arcade card, ice cream, soda, and a lot more. Lunar Bowl can also customize birthday events for adults. Lunar Bowl, 2001 Northwest 7 Highway in Blue Springs. To book your birthday party, call group sales manager Tina Short at 816-220-7722. That's 220-7722. On the web at LunarBowl.com. Lunar Bowl is a smoke-free facility. Wow, that really inspired me to start getting active. You know what inspires me? What? The teachers here at Green Valley. Yeah, that's very true. Sometimes I feel like they don't get appreciated as much as they should. Well, since I want to be a teacher in the future, I think it's very important to always honor our teachers and all the hard work they put into their job. Yeah, definitely. Let's go out to Team 6 to see just how great our teachers are. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again We've come a long way from where we began Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again When I see you again Hey guys, it's Cooper here, and in honor of Teacher Appreciation Week, we are going to head out to talk to teachers and learn a little bit more about them. Let's go. Hey GV, it's Kyle here, and I'm with Mr. Roberts. So, Mr. Roberts, what classes do you teach? Well, I teach American Literature, uh, both regular and pre-APLA3. Uh, I teach Lord of the Rings. Not everyone is ring-worthy. To be in Lord of the Rings class, you have to be the right stuff. You have to resist evil. You have to resist the lure of the ring. Because the lure of the ring just sucks you in. And then of course, for the kids who are off to college, I teach ACT prep. Cool. And uh, what do you do in your free time? Well, I play drums. That's my probably my biggest hobby. I love playing drums. Um, I uh, play a lot with Mr. Davis, who is a bass player. He used to teach here. And then Mr. Spradley came down and jammed with us last Thursday. So love playing drums. I also love playing chess. I read a lot. And then when I have a little spare time, I love running through the neighborhood and terrorizing little kids. You know, it's, it's always fun. I like if a little kid comes to the door to turn the wargs loose. You know? yeah let the wargs out. Yeah, it scares them. I try not to hurt them too much, but just scare them a lot. Okay, now, yeah, that's that's a good thing. All right, and what's one thing that people don't know about you? Well, you know, I don't want to share this on camera, but I have webbed toes. Um, and I don't want, I really don't want that out. But one of the things when I was younger, 
I uh, fronted Peaches and Herb, a really good 60s band. I played a little bit with Bob Cuban and the In Men, who had a, a single out for a while. So, um, but I also used to be a pole vaulter. Cool. I was a skinnier man than I am now. But uh, I, I cleared 11.6 back in the day before we had fiberglass poles. And uh, so I pretty much consider myself a legend in my own mind. Very good, very good. Thank you very much. Well, you're welcome. Come back when you can't stay so long. Thank you. Thank you. Shout out to Mr. Winkler for being a chill dude. Thank you. Thank you. Shout out to Mr. Shepard for being a boss. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Shout out to Miss Benson for being awesome. Thank you. I want to give a shout out to Coach Grillo, Mr. Grillo, for being the best teacher in our school. Thank you. We appreciate Mr. Williams for teaching us everything we know about art. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Shout out to Mr. Roberts for teaching me the ways of the Mordor. Thank you. Shout out to Grandpa Roberts for all the great stories in class. Thank you, Mr. Williams. Thank you. Thank you, teachers. Uh, I'm gonna give a shout out to Mr. Lapree for being a good advocate teacher. Thanks, Mr. Lapree. Hi guys, I'm here with Mr. Small. And Mr. Small, what classes do you teach? Uh, currently, I teach AP Biology, Pre-AP Biology, and then uh, Regular Biology. So, uh, a lot of biology. That is a lot of biology. Um, what do you do outside of school? Um, well, coaching is a big part of my life. But recently, um, I just had a little boy. And so, I love spending time with him and just getting to see every little new thing that he does be surprised at. I can't believe how many times I get to tell this little kid that I'm excited that he burped or pooped or something. I never thought I'd say that about somebody, so that's kind of interesting. Yeah, it is. And what is something that no one knows about you? Oh boy, that's a tough question. Um, I guess it would be that every now and then, um, late at night when no one's home, I like to crank up my speaker system and dance around the house. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, thank you. No problem. Well, I hope you guys learned a little bit about some of the teachers here in GV. Unfortunately, that's all we have for today, guys. Back to you in the studio. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. We've come a long way from where we began. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. When I see you again. Like I said, our teachers are pretty awesome. Yeah, so make sure you tell your teachers that how much they do for us students is greatly appreciated. Well, Kirsten, that's all we have for this week. So don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter and Instagram at GVHS Eagle Media. See you later, GV. Have a wonderful weekend.